back to the Body Coach TV. I'm joined by a good friend of mine, Faisal, <laughs> Mr. PMA. <laughs> so Faisal is a friend of mine. You can follow him on Instagram. It's at Faisal PMA Fitness. He's a Barry's Bootcamp trainer and Nike Master trainer. He's come down to the Body Coach HQ today to put me through a workout. So what are we doing, mate? I'm trying to break him. So we're going to do a 20 minute hit workout. We're going to be working for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We've got 20 movements and we're just going to get sweaty. So just make sure you warm up, get nice and loose. Make sure you've got a bottle of water with you and we're going to get straight to it. Let's do this! Boom! Right, Let's so go, starting in 10 seconds. Here we are, Body Coach TV with Mr. PMA himself, Faisal. If you think I'm motivating, check this guy out on social media. He will get you G'd up on a Monday morning. G'd up! So the first movement's going to be the walk out. <coughs> what we're going to do is just walk out to that high plank, walk back in. The time is ticking. Let's rock and roll. <sighs> So where can they find you? Where are your Barry's classes held? So Barry's classes are in central London. We've got two branches. We've got East, uh, which is over in Old Street. We've got our central branch, which is in Newston. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna have a West branch, which is over in kind of the Notting Hill area. Oh, trendy. Yeah. <laughs> trendy. They big areas, don't they? Cause it's a big, oh yeah, no. Big, big facility. That's good, so. 10 seconds. Keep it up. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, guys, from there, we're going to rock and roll into an air squat. This is just your body weight. You're going to get nice and low. Stay in your heels, keeping your chest nice and high. Let's go. All right, we've got about 10 seconds. So this workout, we're just going to progress. This, this is a nice training club app one, isn't it? I've, I've seen this one already. Yeah, so the perfect yeah, squat. <laughs> <coughs> Boom. So with the arms here, that's just a natural movement. You can do whatever you wish. If you want to hold them here, whatever, but what you want to do is just make sure you're staying on your heels like Joe, your knees are over your toes, his chest is nice and high, and you'll see his back is flat as a pancake. It's beautiful. What you want to do is imagine there's a brick wall in front of your nose. You can't really lean forward into it. All right, we've got 15 seconds. Last eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, so reach and lunge now, Joe. So we're just gonna step forward on that lunge. Opposite arm is just gonna come over the head. Let your hips move naturally. Oh, this nice is gonna, stretch that. Yeah, open up the shoulder mobility. <coughs> right, so four seconds. Lunges with a stretch. Boom, in. So you really want to do get that knee tap into the floor, but it doesn't matter if you can't get that deep. Just keep moving throughout the time. Halfway? Yes. So mate, how many hit sessions do you do a week, Joe? So really, I only really do one a day. Yeah. Four to five days per week, but I've been doing a lot of filming this last week, so I'm going traveling. But I think if you do one session, with the intensity, for you know, 20, 25 minutes, it's yeah. enough. I really believe that. Yeah, totally. Mate. I don't think you need to be doing two or three a day, but yeah, exactly. Obviously, I'm putting out content for you guys. I'm doing Instagram live, Facebook live. But it's killing it. The ideal world: one good hit session in the morning or after work will get you lean, will make you feel great, give you energy. If you're eating well, you know, healthy diet because you can't out train a bad diet. Look. Exactly. It's on there. Look. All right, high knees, sprinting on the spot. We're in 40 seconds. So you just want to drive your arms. Drive your knees, always looking forward. You gotta visualize it in that race. Just do it. Just do it. Awesome, right. 20 seconds, step up a little bit quicker. The hit training is about effort and intensity, except about you. Going as hard as you can for these working sets. Get your heart rate up as high as you can. Uh, we've got four, three, two, and one. Nice. From there, we've got a standing knee crunch. So you're going to hold your hands behind your head. You're going to get your knee up to that elbow. Really working our side obliques. Getting the abs that kind of frame your six pack. So it's the abs on the outside. All right, guys. Three, two, and one. Boom. Now many things you can kind of work your abs from a standing position, but yeah. get those knees right up and squeeze the abs. Exactly. So if you think of your knee coming to your elbow, 
and not the other way around. So Joe's keeping his elbows up the whole time and he's bringing his knees up, working knees. Beautiful little feel bad it. boys. <laughs> All right, <coughs> come to your last 15 seconds. Just keep that momentum, knees high. We got four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, a Superman reach with the push up. Looks like this. <laughs> We're going to reach out, look forward, and then perform that push up. Hands underneath your shoulders. So, what you also can do here, guys, is stay on your knees. If you do knees, push ups, but you just make sure you get your hands right underneath your shoulders. So remember, it's all about honest training, honest results. If you know you can keep pushing, if you know you've taken that rest and you don't really deserve it, be honest with yourself. Because it's only you versus you, although Joe is smashing me on this. We got 10 seconds left. So how many days a week do you train for? I train between five and six days a week. Yeah, and it's a mixture of, I do a mixture of hit sessions, so I do three or four of these, and I swack in like two Barry's classes, which is kind of the same, but it includes weights and resistant bands. And right, next session, five fun. seconds, what are we up to, mate? Next one, we're going into a hip march. So hips up, we're gonna go this way for you. Hips up nice and high, keeping your toes pointing towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are right now. And this is targeting our glutes, which are your bum, your hamstrings, your legs, and uh, as Joe has said before, it's like <laughs> pinching a peanut in between your bum cheeks. <laughs> crack that nut, crack that nut. Crack that nut. All right guys, you've got 15 seconds. So Fyzer, do you eat before you train or do you prefer training fasted? Um, at this time of the morning, fasted. Yeah. But if any other time of the day, just a little piece of fruit, apple, banana, something very light. Oh mate, tell them about your your bounty overnight oats. Oh mate. <laughs> Tell them the recipe. Bounty overnight oats, real easy. Oats, date, <laughs> cinnamon. Then you put a little uh, desiccant coconut in, a couple of scoops of protein, almond milk, uh, sorry no, coconut milk. Bang that in the fridge, you, you're there. Mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Drive your knees in. Yeah, I saw it on your snack story and I was like, <laughs> amazing. <clears throat> I've made some, I've got some, uh, Chocolate and banana overnight oats. Says. Awesome. Almond milk and a banana. I'm hungry now. Vanilla protein and yeah. cocoa powder. Like blend that. Yeah. Pour it into the oats overnight and then just scrape a little bit of dark chocolate on top in the morning. Oh mate, nice. Banging right. 20 seconds. Here we go. Keep it up. <sighs> 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 ah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ten. Yes. Drive your knees in. <sighs> Seven or oh, five seconds. Four. Four. Three, two, and one. Woo! Now our shoulders should be on fire now, and we're going to target them straight away into a plank shoulder tap. So you're going to just perform a nice high plank, and then we're just going to tap our shoulders. Opposite hands, opposite shoulder, and it's going to get those arms <coughs> tight, toned. Four, <coughs> three, two, and one. Here's another question that people might want to know. Yeah. How many litres of water do you aim to drink? I definitely drink between about two and four yeah. liters. I think, I, think, I think two is a good benchmark. Yeah. The more active you are, yeah. obviously increase it, but I think so many people underestimate yeah. the importance of hydration. Exactly. But I mean, it's so easy to carry a water bottle around and you just keep filling that up and it encourages you to get it in. Ah, all right, we've got 10 seconds. Triceps, biceps, shoulders, core. Four. Three, two, one. Nice. nice. Okay, cool. Movement number 10 is going to be a burpee. Oh, love them. Love, love a burpee. burpee. <laughs> right, we're going in 10 seconds. So we're going to go chest to ground or? Chest to floor. So right. we're going to do strict burpees. I'll show you a couple of variations. Regular ones, modified ones. All right, guys. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Here we go. So that's a strict burpee, chest to floor. This is going to be a regular burpee. Hands to floor, jump out, in, up. Then we can take it a step down, a modified one. 
but you just crouch down, you step out, step in, either stand or jump. Work to your ability, work as hard as you can. Because we've only got 20 seconds. I had a challenge once, 100 yeah. burpees for time. And I had a headache yeah. for about two hours afterwards. <laughs> I can't remember how long it took, but uh, I had a, my head was pounding. All over, I bet. <laughs> two and one, nice. Okay guys, we're halfway through. Breathe, take a little sip of water. 10 minutes down, 10 to go. So Woo! stick with it. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. If you're really blown and need an extra rest, maybe miss one out. Have a four minute rest and get back in and finish it with us. Right, What's next? Drop, drop squats, feet together. I'm just gonna to touch the floor as we jump out, keeping our chest high, alternating your hands. Nice. So if you do have a problem with your knees or you've got a slight injury, you're gonna keep your feet where they are. Perform that squat, but you're still gonna to touch the floor to really encourage you getting deep into that squat. Yeah, 20 to go. What's your favourite ultimate cheat meal? Five guys. Oh, yeah, five Straight guys. up, five guys. Really? Yeah, burger, chips, a big, three, big Coke. Mine's a strawberry milkshake. Well, mine's a burger, but more like, I like a, I like a GBK. GBK. Maybe a bit of Ben and Jerry's afterwards. Oreo, a bit of Oreo milkshake. Yeah, milkshake. Oh, oh. I'm obsessed with um, Parmesan truffle fries and macaroni cheese at the moment. Like, I always order it. I love it. What's next? Three seconds. A reverse lunge with a knee drive. So I'm going to step back, drive forward, alternate those legs. Because we've got to earn that cheat meal. Ah. So again, if you can't perform the jump, you just stay on your foot and you're driving me up as fast, as hard as you can. So there's always adaptations to keep moving through. Halfway. We've got about 15 seconds left now. Powerful, explosive. Stay with it. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, they're nasty. This is gonna get nastier. You nasty man. Quick feet. So quick feet look a little something like this. With the jazz hands. Yeah. With the jazz hands. A little dance, what do you say it was? The Jean Paul like dance, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, 40 seconds, let's go. Shake that booty. Make that music. The ones that you feel the silliest are the ones yeah. that the most. Exactly. Oh man. 20 seconds. Ah. Ah. Come on, Joe. All right, we've got 10 guys. Five, four, three, two, one. That is a killer. That's such a deep little low burner. Right, next up, speaking of deep, we're going to get into a squat. It's called a duck lateral ah. walk. So you're going to stay low. Look like a duck. Right. And just you go use out, the space. Alright, sweet. Alright, here we go. Oh, those legs are burning now. Yeah. So you see how we're keeping our chest up? We're staying looking yeah. forward. Imagine there's like a ceiling on top of your yeah. head. Sorry mate, I need to step You're in right. the new trainers. Imagine there's a ceiling on top of your head and you can't stand up. So you've yeah. got to stay low. Halfway, 20 seconds. Uh, it hits the yeah. other isn't it? Uh, uh. 10 seconds. Yes. Low, 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 low Joe. Three, two, uh, one. Shake oh. it out. So in these 20 seconds off, it's your time to get a quick sip of water, compose yourself, stay focused, keep that positive mental attitude. <gasps> what I love about these workouts is literally, no equipment, you can do this anywhere. If you travel a lot and you think you can't get to the gym, you can do this in your room, can't you? Right, next one. So, lateral bounds or skiers, transferring your body weight onto your legs. So Joe's doing a regular version. 
I'm going to take you down a step. You're going to keep your feet where they are. And we're going to do is just go into those side lunges, tapping the front of your toes. If you have got sore knees or an injury in your ankle, you just take that impact away. But I've got no injuries, no tough. excuses. Ah. All right, guys, 10 seconds, come up. Ah. I feel like Chaz Michael Michael's in this. But it's Chaz Michael McAvoy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. Lady Glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Taz Michael Mike. Taz what's Michael McElwain. Jimmy. Not. Not a bit of what's Will Ferrell's character. Taz Michael Michaels, I think. And Taz Michael Michaels. What's the other guy called? Jimmy McElwain. Jimmy McElwain, yeah, that's it. Right, bear crawls. So, we're going to go this way. On your toes, on your hands. Moving forward. Keeping those knees low to the floor. Now you can travel in any direction you want. You can do a little 360. Use the space you got. Again, like Joe said, it's the beauty of hit training. You use the space we're in. What's the time saying, Joe? We've got 15. Ah. 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 Five yeah. seconds. Oh, we'll collapse. All right. One move we got. That was number Beautiful. We've got 16. a few more. Four more rounds. All right, guys. Bicycle crunches. One of my favorite ab movements. So we're going to get opposite elbow to knee. Taking your shoulder blades off the floor. Or your whole back. Is there a regression of the easy bone there? There is. So you can actually put your feet on the floor and try and get your elbow to your knee or all you need is that small shoulder blade to roll off the floor. So you see I'm doing very little much movement. But it's got a massive amount of benefits and effects. 20 to go. Yeah, I sometimes find when I really kick away, yeah. my lower back gets kicked in a bit. Yeah. So, so like I you do doing there. This yeah, beautiful. Yeah, okay. perfect, mate. Yeah, more. Five yeah. seconds. Eight. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Three more. Breaking me, mate. <laughs> What's next? Hashtag break the body coach. So we're going to go from a low plank to a high plank. So it's literally from our hands, just going to travel down onto our elbows, <coughs> travel back up. But just make sure you alternate which hand you go down on first, all right? So, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So see how Joe's there, he's got that rhythm going down, down, up, up. And he's trying to stick to it. So your rhythm might be down, down, up, up. Find that rhythm, keep that momentum. We're halfway through, let's rock and roll. Uh, breathe, breathe through it in the air. Okay, right, guys, last 10 seconds now, 10 to go. Keep pushing, strong in the arms. Yeah. Squeeze the abs, back flat. Tense the abs. Down, down, three, two, one! Woo! Ah. Yeah. Alright, two more moves. We've done 18. 18 of 20. And we're almost there. Mountain climbers. And then, we've done already number four, but we'll, right. we'll leave it as a surprise. Alright, guys. Knees into I've got that a nice chest. Move for the end. We'll, I'll, I'll give yeah. you a surprise one, yeah. Oh, cheeky. A body coach finisher. Alright, here we go. <laughs> So keeping your shoulders over your wrists. Mine should be not moving that much. Staying focused, driving your knees in, working those abs. Come on, a bit quicker, 20 seconds. Oh. Shoulders are gone. So you see how Joe's hiking up there? He's not actually dropping his knees to the floor. 10 so seconds. It's like an floor. active recovery, but keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Woo. What is so it? The last move. We're going to do a burpee. You go down, press up, squat thrust, up, tuck jump. Hold. So press up, squat tuck. thrust, up, tuck jump. All right, challenge accepted. Last 40 seconds. Challenge accepted. So press up, squat thrust, up, tuck jump. Press up, squat thrust, up, tuck jump. 
Geezers out of breath because hit training should never be easy. Push yourself as hard as you can and training like that for 20 minutes, trust me, it is more than enough. I'm Joe Wick, this is Faisal. Yes. How can I follow you on social media? So it's Faisal, PMA Fitness, F A I S A L, PMA Fitness, PMA's positive mental attitude. He's got bags of it. Oh. All right, so, out of so, breath. so listen, guys, thanks for doing, uh, joining with our workout. If you did enjoy it, hit subscribe. I do one session a week. And check out my Facebook page, The Body Coach, so I do live workouts. Have a lovely day. See you next time. Peace. Peace.